Hello, my little witchy bats. It is I, one witchy woman, and relax, it's just magic. Today's fantastic vid is going to be a review vid. Why? Because I was gifted makeup, of course, duh. <laughs> the beautiful VE Cosmetics was so nice and gifted me some makeup, a brand new palette that they have yet to have released, or by the time this video comes out, they have released it. And I, of course, I'm going to do the old reviewing. I never know what to say in these types of videos. Um, this isn't a blind review. As you can tell, I already have some of the makeup on. Uh, I'll take the filter off in a bit and then you can see what it looks like properly. Um, but I did open this because if you follow me on my Instagram, you know that recently I have had some kerfuffle with some parcels. And one of those parcels, sadly, was my Monster High Skeletor's Adam's Family Dolls. I had them ordered. I managed to get some. But then, sadly... They did not get delivered to my actual address and long story short, they are missing, sad times, um, no, I do not want any other ones. I wanted the ones that I ordered. It's sad, but VE was so sweet and when they sent me this, it was a real pick me up. I was over the moon when I got this, so let's review it. So first off, let me just say that if you know me, you know that I really love VE Cosmetics. VE Cosmetics are my favorite makeup brand because uh, not only are they vegan, they're cruelty free. Um, it's a female owned business. Um, the woman in question is an autistic ADHD woman, which I also might be. I'm still waiting on my results, which is going to take another eight years, I probably guess, but we'll see what happens. Um, but you know what I like with small businesses? I love them. So the fact that she's got like this kick-ass small business that I can support. Hell yeah. Also the packaging, it's always amazing. And it's always so beautiful. So I, I think I'm going to leave the best for last, which is the brand new palette. Um, but let's do my favorite thing, which is lipstick. Uh, color. Ugh. I always forget how vibrant everything is when I take off my filter. Um, so as you can see, I've done a little makeup look uh, and I've got two other lipsticks on right now. Uh, you'll have to excuse me. I, it's incredibly warm. As of filming this, it's about 26 Celsius here in Britain, which I don't know what that is in Fahrenheit. But before you say anything, keep in mind, our buildings are main to meant to keep heat in and keep the cold out we can only open our windows and I have to keep mine shut while I'm filming because there are children and people ill that are outside causing loud noises uh yeah and we don't have aircon either so please be a little bit nicer to us it sucks <laughs> our weather sucks so let's start off with the uh first shade of lipstick which is called Purify and there you have it. So I have been calling this like a sage green because to me that is the color sage, but this is like a beautiful sage green. Um, I rarely wear the color green. I They gifted me the Zombify lipstick. And I love that one. And I think I've only worn that for one makeup look, but it is beautiful. Um, these are the matte lipsticks. So, you know, you can eat, do a little kissy kiss and drink all you want and they're hardly going to come off and that is a beautiful shade i really like that um i'm gonna have to come up with some makeup looks for these ones um i probably won't wear it as much as i will wear the other ones because again like i said green it's not really a color that i wear a lot and ironically i did go through a crazy green phase when i was younger i was like um like some sort of cartoon character everything i had to own had to be green which i guess that's just a character trait of mine because i did it with green i did it with yellow i did it with red i did it with rainbow at one point which is a really dark time and now i kind of do it all with black yeah it's definitely uh some sort of character trait i have so the next one is called healing I like that. 
This one I would say is like a periwinkle kind of purplish bluish kind of colour and I have said that this is like an in-between colour between this one, the next one and cold fog. Here is the cold fog one. Now I got this for my birthday. I do purchase the e-cosmetic stuff when um, uh, they, they don't just give me this kind of stuff. I do purchase this but this is the cold fog one. Uh, this was my birthday lipstick and I loved it. I love wearing this one. It's Oh, it's so nice. I do want to do a few more autumnal? Winter. Winter? I think maybe like winter autumn kind of looks. I think that would be very nice. Um, but yeah, no, I definitely, I think I might wear that one a little bit more. I definitely want to do some sort of like cold kind of look with it. Like maybe like have like a matching eyeshadow or maybe do like a reverse kind of makeup look. So instead of using like black for eyeliner and eyebrows, have like white. Who knows? Uh, maybe I'll have to get creative. Now the next one is, so this one is, as I kept calling it, the obtuse shade, but it's not called that. I was smart and actually looked at the pronunciation. So this is the Obertus, which is Latin for death, I believe. Um, getting fancy now. That's a beautiful colour. Look at that. That is... Ah, oh, see, as I was saying, it's definitely like, um, it's, I feel like it's like, I don't know how to describe it, but it's with like cold fog and all that, like, see, there they all are together, and there's Obidus in the middle, like, mm, I like that one, that is, that's a good one, and that is the one that I currently have on my lips, it's the middle one, don't look good. Don't get too close because then you can all see all my makeup faults. A little closer. Come here. There we go. Like, yeah, so that is currently the one that I have on my lips. Um, along with the next one, which is one that I did actually wear. Um, yes, I have kind of worn some of these um, before I reviewed them. Uh, again, makeup makes me happy and I was sad at the time. So this is the NYX, NYX, however you want to pronounce it, I'm going to say NYX. This is the NYX lipstick. This one is, it looks black. It looks like it's black. It's not. It's purple. It's like a very, it, it won't focus, <laughs> but like it's a very nice purple colour. And as you can see, it's this purple around here. It's definitely going to be one of my new go-to ones. The purple one that I have is very purple. Um, I believe that one, no one's just called purple, I'm not too sure, editor, correct me if I'm wrong, um, but this one, I wore this to go see the March Violet, and I love this one, it looks like it's black from afar, but when you get real close, it's obviously purple, and I love purple, it's awesome, I just realised that you can't see my cool shirt that I actually wore for this explicitly, it's the March Violets, so I went to go see them, they were awesome. So next is a product that I rarely wear, but when I do, it's kind of, I gotta go all out for it. And that is highlighter. Uh, yeah, you can't see it because it's white, but there it is. I, I love the little tiny packaging that VE does for the highlighters. I don't know if this is for all of them, um, but this, for this packaging, I think this is cute. This is like a little, Put it in my purse, easy travel kind of highlighter. Love that. Uh, so first off, I do have some on, but I don't know if you can see it. You can see all the cracks in my makeup now. Uh, let me try putting some on. I, I really can't tell. I mean, maybe this? Yeah. I don't know. <laughs> I, I'm terrible with highlighter. If I put too little on, you can't see it. If I put too much on, it looks like I'm sweating. And I already have oily skin, so... I don't need more. But the first one is Wisdom, and that is the one that I've currently got on. So yeah, it looks, you know, it looks pretty normal, looks all right and everything. But then if I can I oh I had this problem. Hang on. Oh, oh. Can you see? It? There it is. Look, ooh, purple. So so it's got like um like a natural kind of like tone colour. So like um imagine this would work for different types of skin uh i'm not too sure as you can obviously see i can only give you the verdict for pale skin uh i'm not too sure 
Uh, but I think that, I really like that. That is, that's nice. Ooh, oh, it finally focused. We get it, do the thing. It's very hard um, to show you. I mean, if I do a swatch on my finger, you can see it better. See, there we go. Oh, see, look at that, that's beautiful. That's beautiful, that is a beautiful purple. Oh, that's amazing, I love that. I love the cosmetic, and if you buy anything, and I'll just say it, uh, obligatory, use my discount code, one of which you woman, you know, if you want to treat yourself, if you want, if you're having a bad day and you want to trick or treat yourself, you know, you can use that code and get some stuff, you know. Um, but this and any other shiny product that you get from VE Cosmetics, it, it's going to shine no matter what. Like, you think, oh, it's just going to be like a nice little tiny shimmer. No, 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 it's going to blind you. You're going to open it and you're going to be like, ah, because ugh, VE just know how to make shiny stuff. Like, I am a magpie. And I'm loving all the shiny stuff that they do. It's just it's so pretty. So the next one is called Healing. And again, I don't know if you're going to be able to see this properly. I'll try my best. Again, cute tiny packet. Can you see it? Oh, there we go. You can see this one better. So as you can see, it's got more like of a like green kind of one. Like a green kind of tint. I dropped it back. Like a green kind of tint, maybe. Uh, I, I don't know. Maybe like teal. But no, that one's a very nice one. Um, I'm not too sure, because I'm not a professional makeup artist. Uh, I, 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 I don't know what goes with people's uh, skin tones and stuff like that. I mean, people can wear whatever they want to wear, you know. It doesn't have to go. Just like people who have certain body shapes shouldn't wear certain items. Like, that's just a load of malarkey. Wear what you want, like a body. But um, I think, I'm trying to think, I think someone who has like a mermaid kind of like vibe to them I think that would suit them like ooh, ocean you know I think this with the sage lipstick would be very nice sage lipstick look at me I'm renaming stuff with the purify lipstick so I think these two together I think that would be like a pretty lethal combo you know you'd be like oh look at me <gasps> you know oh, who is she and finally my witchy bats apologies uh my Mike has just died, so now you have this kind of audio, so I apologise for that. I have no idea where the spare one is. <laughs> so finally, the piece to resistance is the Mitsumar eyeshadow palette. <gasps> now, Mitsumar, not as in the film Mitsumar, but in fact the festival or the summer solstice known as Midsummer um, or Mitsumar. I don't know what, which one is the proper term, but either way and so this is inspired by the summer solstice i believe and uh, can we just look at that that is beautiful okay like i said with highlighters look how shiny they are those uh, beautiful um amazing now i did of course this isn't my first time this isn't my first time wearing this uh, i did wear it when i went to go see the march violet you know they're a pretty cool band and um, so of course I did wear the violet colours for that which amazing but uh, VE just never disappoint me with their eyeshadow palettes uh, I have personally with my own money this one was not gifted um, I bought their grimoire palette like first off uh, shiny and uh, amazing that's my everyday go-to palette when they did do a teaser for this palette, I I was under the impression that it was going to be a monochromatic one because I was an idiot and didn't read the description of their picture. I thought they were just showing their brand new palette which had uh, blacks, whites and greys and I was like, oh yeah, I love a monochromatic palette. I don't wear a lot of colour eyeshadow. This is great. And then I read the actual thing and was like, oh, okay. It's going to be colourful. I like that. That's cool. <laughs> but I am really glad about the fact that it's not monochromatic. Like, oh, I'm just, I'm stunned by this. Okay, first off, the packaging. They could have just done a simple flip up one. No, it's little doors. Like, that is cute. 
it's got a key it's got some writing here which i imagine is like um some sort of like affirmation like magical-esque themed kind of thing ve do a lot of that kind of stuff uh, and i don't want to embarrass myself uh, because i already have a video on here of me trying to read so i'm not reading that <laughs> but here you go you can pause to read cool um but yes this is a beautiful palette just you can't there's no way that you can see just how beautiful these shimmery eyeshadows are in person they are just stunning they don't look real i want to eat these these look so good like i'm not just hyping up ve because they gave me this like i said ve are just personally one of my favorite brands they're amazing and it's just they have amazing products that i do generally like you know some of them do have a funny smell to them but i mean every product kind of has a funny smell to it so i can't knock it um it's just, I, I'm grateful for the fact that I'm able to review this, that they gifted me this and I can review it and tell you guys about it. So I am honestly so grateful about that. And it's just, I am wholeheartedly being genuinely serious when I say that this is amazing. And I really love it. I just, their palettes they have are just so stunning. I'm definitely going to have to work on working with colourful makeup because I need to use this more there are just there's so many different colors i mean these ones are probably gonna get used the most because purple is my favorite color um but definitely the black and the white of course um but i'm gonna need to push myself and try and use these ones a bit more um but i did use i used this purple on the inner bit here this purple mixed with this one because i mix a lot of my colors together for the lid of my eye and then this one here for the outer bit and of course the black for this inner bit here and the contour bit on my nose but I will have to work on it a bit more uh, this isn't my first time filming this video the first time I did try doing this review I ended up rambling <laughs> way too long and maybe you witchy bats would have liked me rambling but when it's for about an hour unedited in fact no that was edited <laughs> I don't think you would be really entertained but I did originally do a Beetlejuice inspired makeup look and um, because of the green the purple the black and white I used all those I'm obviously gonna have to do it again for when Beetlejuice 2 comes out and I go and see it but I'm definitely gonna have to work on my eyeshadow looks in order to use all of these because I can't let this go to waste it's just incredible like wow <laughs> look at that Ooh, the snap! I love a snap of that, that's so nice. So that is the VE Cosmetics Midsommar palette. I believe that's either going to have been released or will be released. Um, information shall be here. And remember, if you want to trick or treat yourself to any VE products, of course, One Witchy Woman gives you a discount code. Shameless plug, there we go. But that's it for this video, my witchy bats. If you have any suggestions for any makeup looks, feel free to leave them in the comments below. Maybe I'll be inspired and I'll, you know, I'll have to do that. Um, but VE truly are, they're, they're an amazing business, I will say that. If I ever got the opportunity to ever, to ever make my own makeup line, I, you know, I, I would like working with them, you know, if, you know, if I ever got the chance to you know, do that. I wouldn't want to work with a big organisation. I would want to work with a small business that is, you know, woman owned and everything and just, you know, I would, I would really like that. But maybe I need to get better at doing more creative makeup looks before any of that happens. But that is it for this video, my witchy bats. I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, apologies for how long it took. Apologies for all the delays and everything. And apologies that it's not the original video, which would have been a monster high doll review but someone decided to steal from me isn't that fun isn't it great when other people don't care about other people yeah but that's it for this video and remember stay spooky